In this video, I'll be showing you my top 8 favorite VS Code extensions that you are absolutely going to love. Let's quickly get into it. First one is CodeSnap. CodeSnap is an extension that allows you to take beautiful screenshots of your code. After you install it, go into any file that has some code inside, press Ctrl P, and in the search box, type code snap, click on code snap, and as you see, there is this window coming out, and all you need to do is to highlight the part that you want to take the screenshot of, and as you can see, there is the screenshot. You can adjust the size of this window by clicking on this corner, you can make it narrow, you can make it wider. And after you finish adjusting, click on this icon and save it to your computer. And after you save it, it is going to look like this. So the second one is actually a theme. And in my opinion, this is the best VS Code theme ever, which is Atom 1 Dark Theme. I'm currently using it and people also ask me a lot in the comments. This is the theme I'm using. And let me show you how it looks in certain files. In HTML, it looks like this. And in JavaScript, the colors are just beautiful. The editor itself is this grayish color. It's so easy on the eyes. So if you want to use it as well, after you install this, click on Set Color Theme, and you will be good to go. Third one is Material Icons. This extension creates some beautiful icons for your files and folders. And as you can see, there are hundreds of icons. And there are the folder ones. And you can also customize this. To be able to use this extension, after you download this, click on Set File Icon Theme. And let me show you how it looks. So I have this React project over here. And as you can see, we have a lot of icons for each of the files and folders. For the source folder, we have this source icon. We have a git icon in here, the HTML fit icon. Let's go inside the source folder. We have the CSS icon, React. And in the assets folder, we have a SVG icon as well. And as I showed you earlier, there are hundreds of more icons for each of the file types. And it just makes it easier to separate which file is which. And you should give it a try. Next one is auto rename tag. And this is really simple, but very effective. Let me show you a quick example. Let's say I want to change this h1 to a h4. Normally, what I would do is I would go and change this to h4 and then change this one or maybe click on this and click on this as well and change it. But when you install this extension, the only thing you need to do is to change only one of them. So let's change this one and the closing tag automatically gets changed as well. And I can change the closing one and the one at the start is going to change as well. The next one is probably the simplest one. It's just a spell checker. I do a lot of spelling mistakes, so it helps me a lot. And let me show you a quick example. So when there's a mistake, it basically underlines it and shows you there's a mistake. And you can click on this bulb and see quick fixes as well. And that is it with the spell checker. The next one is a React Snippets extension, which basically helps you to create components using shortcuts. So after the installation, scroll down a little bit and you will see this link over here. Click on this and it is going to open up this GitHub page for the extension. And if you scroll down a little bit, you will see the shortcuts that you can create components. There is a lot of shortcuts. For example, this RAFCE basically creates a component using arrow function syntax. So let's use this as a quick example. So after we install the snippets extension, go into a React file and create a new JSX file. And let's use the shortcut RAFCE. And as you can see here, it is going to create a arrow function. And it also takes the name of the component from the file's name. 
and it also exports it. So this is a really quick way to create new components in React. And as I showed you, there are many, many more shortcuts that you can use. And that is it with the React snippets. The next one is Live Preview. You can confuse this with Live Server, but this is something different. It doesn't open up in a browser. It directly opens up in this workspace. So let me show you a quick example. After you install the extension, go into a HTML file. And on the top right corner, you will see this Show Preview button. Click on this. And as you can see, there is this window coming out, just like Live Server, but it doesn't open up in a browser, as I said. It opens up directly in VS Code. And it is also live, and it is pretty quick, actually. So if I change this H5 to a H1, say, Hi World, as you can see, it refreshes really quickly. And this will be really useful if you want to take a quick look at your code without leaving the VS Code. And that is it with Live Preview. And the final one, Image Preview. This is one of my favorites. Let me quickly show you what it does. So I have this HTML file in here. And I have some images inside this folder. And I'm going to add these images inside this HTML. And as you can see, as I add the images, there is this little preview on the left hand side. And if I hover over it, I will see a bigger preview of the image. And also there are some information as well. You can click on this and open the containing folder. You can click on this and open up this image directly as well. And this is a really useful extension as well if you're dealing with a lot of images inside your HTML. That is it with Image Preview. And these were my favorite VS Code extensions. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you for your time. And I'll see you next time.